I changed the name of this channel to Matthias Talks YouTube because even though the channel was originally conceived as a bit more project focused, all the videos John and I made were about making YouTube videos and uh, John kind of lost interest in that sort of focus whereas I saw that as a good continuing focus for the channel. So just to warn you, the channel name has changed so when it shows up in your subscription feed don't be like, who the hell is this? Why am I subscribed to that? It used to be the Heist One Bell project. Now I was going to change the name and then check with John if it's okay with it, uh, but then YouTube indicated that you can't change a channel name too often, so if it wasn't okay, I might not be able to change it back. So I sent him an email asking him if it's okay, and he replied saying, yeah, that's fine. Um, the channel is actually registered in my name anyways. Um, but uh, then he made a video about uh, making videos about making videos rather cynical. Why do YouTubers like to talk about YouTube? Which of course is uh, rather cynical about making videos about making videos and he compares it to musicians that write songs about life on the road which most people can't relate to. Fair enough. Um, his point here is... But the vast majority of the public are in no way interested in this type of thing right here. And he's absolutely right. Most people don't care about this sort of inside uh, talking about making videos. Most people. But there's enough people that care. Uh, I still get on the order of 15 to 30,000 views on each video because there is a fair number of people that are into making YouTube videos and it's a smaller audience and I'm happy to serve it. Uh, surprisingly, I've managed to make uh, averaging about $100 for each video on this channel lately. Some of them do much worse, some of them do much better. And uh, you have to balance that against the effort goes into it. These videos are a lot less work to make than uh, project videos. Although some of them I fret over for a whole day to make the video and at about $100 not worth it. But then some I managed to nail in the space of about an hour and at that point it's definitely worth it. And then the question is, where is this channel going? I have right now on my list of topics that I'd still like to cover about 12 different topics. And uh, going through this list so far, I think of topics that I don't even put on the list and just make a video. So I'm sure there's more than 12 before I run out, and I'm sure some of these I'll in the end decide that they're not worth doing. But of course, like any subject, there's really only so much to say about it. And I figure uh, I've got at least another six months before I run out of ideas for this channel, and I might think of more ideas eventually, but I don't see this channel lasting forever. Sometimes, um, there's a one pun that Seth Goodwin that I was uh, following his blog for a while and I realized it kind of gets repetitive because he just keeps expressing the same idea with different words and I don't want to go down that route. But yeah, that's what this channel is about. Uh, it won't last forever but there seems to be enough people that are interested in videos about making videos. Certainly, like when I listen to the Making It podcast, if they talk about how to do specific things in terms of bending metal or woodworking. I find that not that interesting. I already know that stuff. But if they talk inside baseball, which I know most people don't care about, to me, that's the most interesting part. And I know there's people out there that are interested in that sort of stuff. So if you're into that, watch this channel. Otherwise, please unsubscribe because uh, there's not going to be projects on this channel. That's it for today.